Well, look, uh, uh, what Rachel said, there was humility, real humility here. Let me read you his direct quote according to Dana Milbank. He's telling the congressional guys, this is the moment the world is waiting for. I have become a symbol of the possibility of America returning to our best traditions. I mean, upon what meat has this our Caesar fed? He is sounding like America's hot dog, really, out there he's well, in Berlin. Pat, Pat, the issue look, here, though, is that ahead, that quote Richard. has been disproved today. That that quote has been contradicted by multiple other sources, talking to Time Magazine, talking to other reporters, explaining well, think, what the, that he did not say that at all. Let me break in. Let me break in with what the act, uh, Smirk, you're coming. The, the actual quote, in. as Politico reported on this, it is. This is what Obama reportedly said, according to Politico, has become increasingly clear in my travel, the campaign, that the crowds, the enthusiasm, 200,000 people in Berlin. It's not about me at all. It's about America. I have just become a symbol. Smirk. All right. Nobody was in the room from a uh, journalistic standpoint when that statement was offered. But the New York Times, I'm amazed nobody has brought this up so far. June 4, 2008, a direct quote from Senator Obama. I love when I'm shaking hands on a rope line and I see a little old white lady and a big burly black guy and Latino girls and all their hands are entwined and they're feeding on each other as much as on me. It's like I'm just the excuse. In other words, he said it before in the proper context. It's it's a, it's a feel-good statement about the country and what he represents. So we don't have to debate what he said behind closed doors because we have him on the record and giving him the benefit of the doubt. He said the same thing yesterday that he told the Times on this day. Which I would argue is a symbol of humility and not hubris. But people want to run with the hubris line, I think, for but prejudice reasons. But, what, the re but well, well, is, is Dana Milbank doing this for prejudice reasons? I'm Come not, on! I'm not accusing him of That's being racist. That's the source I'm, of the story. I'm, no, listen, and Pat. Pat, well, why, the how would you look at of everybody that's that's critical of Obama when he's in a rough patch to which he's responding with angry ads which show these attacks are working? Whether or not they're working, I think we have a responsibility to talk about whether they're deserved, Pat. And I think when Pat Buchan when, when when John McCain doesn't speak to Pat Buchanan as being presumptuous when he calls himself President McCain, but Barack Obama speaks to you as presumptuous for doing something much less damning, that says more about you than it does about the candidates. Well, Got to take a break. Here, coming back to your play date with the panel.